This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. When you find your minds wondering, I want you to knuckle back down and concentrate. Get the car, Barney. Chaban Knuckle just uploaded a new video of all the mods. 7, episode 33. Time has come to make the pulsating black hole. And in order to do this, we need to do it inside of a presser chamber. So we need... Air compressor. Air compressor. Air compressor. I need an air compressor. And a bunch of other parts. Let's get started. Let's start in the pneumatic craft mod. You need compressed iron. So for that, in the beginning of the mod, pop down some TNT, throw the iron, regular iron, right on top of it. Take a flint and steel, light the TNT, back up. And boom, you get compressed iron ingots. Pretty much everything in this mod revolves around a compressed iron ingot. First thing that we're going to make are these right here, reinforced stone. Make a pattern for them. Then we take the reinforced stone, put four of them together like that. You get reinforced bricks. We'll make a pattern for that as well. We need a pattern for a tube, which is two compressed iron and a piece of glass in the middle. And a pattern for an air compressor, which is reinforced bricks, a tube, and a furnace. Pattern for pressure chamber walls. That's all reinforced bricks, just like so. We can make one for pressure chamber glass, which is pretty simple. Just to reinforce bricks with a piece of glass in the middle. And a pressure chamber interface, which is two pressure walls and a hopper. You get two interface. One last important part that we want to make is a security upgrade. These can go into pneumatic craft machines and will stop them from exploding when they have too much pressure. So that's pretty important. So the first thing that we need to auto craft is a gauge, pressure gauge, make that. And then if we take the pressure gauge, pop it in here with a tube under it and two levers, that gives us a safety tube module. And if we take the safety tube module, put that in the center, obsidian in a diamond fashion, and take some lapis, put that in the corners, that gives us the security upgrade that we need. We're going to put one of them in every one of our machines. But we can now order all the parts that we need to set up this pressure chamber. I'm starting out with six air compressors. It might be a little much, but that's okay. I'm going to use glass because I'm on YouTube and it's going to look cooler. So we're going to get a stack of pressure chamber glass. We need two pressure chamber interfaces. So that pattern is going to make two of them. And we need some pressure chamber walls and seven security upgrades, one for each machine. Now let's head down to the basement and set up our pressure chamber. How about here? There's two different sizes of pressure chambers that you can make that I'm aware of. Three by three by three and a five by five by five. And to me, it looks like you need the five by five by five to make this recipe. So that's the size that we're going to go with for our application here. Put down pressure chamber walls, five wide, just like so. Boom. And then we'll bring it up. It's got to be five tall the same way. Now we need interfaces. So I'm going to put one of these right here on this side. That's going to be either our input or output. I don't remember the direction, but as long as these are facing different directions, you'll notice the colors on them. There used to be an I and an O, and I understood that, but I don't understand that part. And then we're going to use glass because, like I said, it's going to look cooler. Fill in this top layer with these guys. Pressure chamber walls and the rest. With then we need to add one more thing. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the top of here. We need to add a way to pump air into this deal and we're going to use a pressure chamber valve for that so we stand up top here click on there notice how that is pointing up we can now hook our pipe 
directly into that and this piece of glass boom there we go we have a pressure chamber now we just need the pipe i'm gonna run a pipe like this and then we have six air compressors just spread these out that's not what i wanted to do just spread these out like so one here one here does the pipe connect it does sweet put the last one back here and if we need to add more to get this deal pumped up we can do that now i want to feed these air compressors coal Let's set up some item pipes tying directly into the air compressors. Then we'll take a drawer, pop a drawer down right there, put coal in here, take a piece out because we want to export from our system. Exporter. Tie that into there. We'll tell it it's exporting coal. And then tie this into the refined storage. And that should start filling up with coal. It is. Now we can pull the coal and feed the compressors. And they should kick on. One of them starting to work. Should be getting pressure into our pressure chamber. It's not moving yet. Kind of slow. But before this thing goes crazy, we want to make sure that we put these security upgrades in here. So we need to take one of each of these and put it in every one of these compressors and like I said that's gonna stop these from blowing up because what happens is it'll just keep burning coal and making pressure and these pipes can only handle five bars of pressure and same with this machine can only handle five bars of pressure so these safety upgrades should release the pressure and stop it from blowing up. Now let me go get an upgrade for that pipe. Pop this in here. That's going to kick off all those compressors, hopefully pretty speedily. We should have upgraded that too. Boom. Speed upgrades. Now it's not slacking. So we could put this on round robin right here going to feed each one of them it's not going to have a hard time keeping up with them that's only going to hold 2,000 or so coal so this thing should be kicking off and now while that's building up pressure let's go make the parts that we need to feed this thing first thing we need is this infinity nuke I don't know what it does and I don't want to know what it does but we need a pressure chamber or a disillusion chamber with latex in it and it starts out like this we need two redstone two glass panes and four emeralds in there and that's going to give us a range upgrade of 12 and then we need to take this guy over to a disillusion chamber with ether gaze and if you don't know how to get this there's an episode in this series called the wither milker go check that out two nether stars diamond block we need this range tier 12 and then four tnt in here and 10 years later, because I don't have any speed or anything upgrades on here, we'll get the infinity nuke that we're after. Bam. And we can start loading this pressure chamber. I don't think items will despawn in here while it's building up pressure. We can put a chest on the output side and then hopefully take a hopper. There we go. Hopper with a chest on top on the blue side is going to be the input we'll put our infinity nuke in there and that should go right into the pressure chamber and hopefully it won't despawn time will tell 
We need a black hole talisman, which is done using Botania. Three of them. And we also need two types of antimatter. I did a video called the two types of antimatter in this series. If you're new to the channel, and any of these videos help you out in any way, help me out. Hit the subscribe button. My videos are here seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Black hole talisman. And we need one more part called the sigil of suppression. And for that, we gotta go visit the blood magic area in the basement and figure out how we use this tier four altar that we built to get that deal. We need an alchemy table and in here we need to put redstone white dye gunpowder coal and then pop this guy over here and that's going to make us arcane ashes all right we got the ashes now we need a bucket piece of string two pieces of string but they need to be in different spots and a piece of gunpowder that gives us a void reagent and we need to do this. We need to come up here to the blood altar, take an ender pearl, pop an ender pearl on the blood altar. That gives us a teleposition focus, whatever that means. We need to take this guy back up top. We need to make this thing, suppression reagent. So we need a teleposer, which uses that teleposition focus. We need one of them. A void sigil, which we're going to make. We need some gold. Bucket. Let's go make, hopefully, the void sigil. To make this void sigil, we should just take arcane ashes, pop them down, take the void reagent, put that in there, and a reinforced slate. Pop that on there. It's going to do its thing. Which looks cool, by the way. We have a void sigil. Now we can take this over to our alchemy table. Teleposer, gold ingot, bucket, void sigil. And that's going to make us, hopefully, the part that we need to make this sigil of suppression. The suppression reagent. Go, boom. Now we need one of these slates, a demonic slate. Take arcane ashes, pop them down. Suppression reagent, pop that in there. Hit it with the demonic slate. I don't know what happens here. Hopefully it's just a thing. Again, it looks pretty cool. And boom, we finally got the sigil of suppression. Now let's see my stuff still in the chamber. It is. And what is this at? This is almost at five. Perfect timing. We're going to pop the rest of this stuff in there. And that should be everything that's needed to make. I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> the pulsating black hole. Is everything gone in there? No. Why not? Takes its sweet old time. Maybe we do a time lapse of this. I'm gonna stand here forever. it's the right thing indeed it is folks that is the master of space and it is time to wrap up the episode thank you so much for watching have fun and peace